everybody so today i am coming with a story time video everybody wants to know you know what it was like moving from columbus ohio to las vegas nevada and today i am going to explain that to y'all while i you know be my face so we have some girls to talk about so just stay tuned and keep watching so first things first i'm just gonna go over some of the products I'm using so that way I don't have to keep stopping. I'm going to take this primer by um, ColourPop. It's called Pretty Fresh Primer. And then I'm going to also be using the Tinted Moisturizer that I always use by ColourPop Pretty Fresh. And this one is in Deep Dark 2N. Oops, 22N, sorry. And then I'm going to go in with the Pretty Fresh Concealer here. It's in Dark 153C. I was living in Columbus, Ohio, and I was working at, uh, for the mat counter, and my friend who I was living with, who I still live with now, her um, her job was really getting on her nerves or whatever, and she was like, I'm about to quit, and I was like, girl, me too. I had been working, this was in 2017, I had already been working for Mac for three years, and I was just sick of it. Like, I was just like, I'm about to, do my own thing so she ends up applying for um an airline she got you know invited to the interview and she calls me and she's like girl i got an interview but it's in vegas so i was like oh for real she was like yeah like the interview is in vegas and i want you to come with me and neither one of us had been to vegas at this point so i was like yeah i'm about to quit my job or I, i'm gonna have time to you know go visit so we get all of our stuff, all of our ducks in a row. We book the flights and hotels and everything we need to do. We get there and we are like literally like in love. Like if you've never been to Vegas, like it's like such a lit up town, like lights everywhere, always something to do. And it was just like a really like nice vibe. Like we really liked it. When we get here or whatever, we're like talking to each other and I was like bro I would move here she's like me too not knowing that we was actually gonna move there so she goes to her interview she ends up getting the job she has to go to training for like a month in Fort Lauderdale and then that's when she finds out where she's going to get based at and I told her like if you get based in Vegas I will literally come move with you because I loved it like I was like it's not far from LA like literally it's like a four hour drive with without traffic but I was like really, really down to move to Vegas. She goes to her training in Florida and then she comes back and we find out that she gets based in Vegas. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we decide that we are both going to move. We had literally just got an apartment together in Columbus and we had to basically like, you know, end our lease. And that was like, mind you we had literally just quit our jobs like she had just quit her job the um the training she went to was unpaid like you don't have no money coming in i had money coming in but not as much as i used to we, we you know kind of like broke at this point like we don't have no money for real like that we had to pay double rent to end our lease and then another rent out here in vegas we just trying to you know figure it out that was like one of our hardest times especially when you don't have a job at that point i literally had no job i was just really banking on people booking with me i forgot to show the contour stick that i'm gonna be using by juvia's place and it's in the color Catsina. when we decided we were gonna move to vegas i we only had a small window to find an apartment we literally had three days to find an apartment and when i tell y'all the first few days of us looking for an apartment in vegas was like the worst experience like we was in the hood all the apartments we was looking at they was up there these was apartments in the hood and they was waxing i'm like first of all these are ugly they're not even updated and y'all charging so much money for these apartments. So we was like, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. So we ended up the last day just being like, come on, let's just go look for apartments. This is the last day for us to look like we need to find something. My good friend, I've been knowing ever since I was like a little kid. He was like, he was like, look at Henderson. 
So we ended up finding a perfect apartment in Henderson and we found that on the last day. Like literally I was getting on the plane that night. Okay, so now I'm about to fill in my eyebrows. I basically just did my whole face without filling in my eyebrows. I usually don't do that, but I'm about to fill them in right now. So we come to Vegas. We don't have a car. We don't have a car, baby. We had to rent a car like to get here and there we have to get uber to get here and there we don't have a car after like probably like two weeks living here or probably like a week for real living here without a car we like man bump this we gotta go back to columbus we don't have any money mind you so we buy a plane ticket that's like literally like the little bit of money i had left so we go back we fly into cincinnati because that's where her parents stay at and we had to get the car from them and then we have to drive to Columbus, which is like an hour and a half. You, you know, really put the pedal to the metal. And then we just got a couple of things for the house and literally drove from Ohio to Las Vegas. What? What the fuck? It was so long, y'all. Like when I tell y'all it was the longest drive in the world, like I would never do that again. And we desperately needed the car. Like when I tell y'all, like we did not have no money like we really did not have no money. I'm broke, 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 broke. Yeah, I'm broke, 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 broke. We couldn't keep renting cars. Like we had to get our car to Las Vegas. And honestly, I'm like so grateful for that time, that point in time in our lives because like it really made me appreciate everything I had to this day. We um drove to um Vegas. We we didn't stop. Like we tried to take like less breaks because we didn't want to be on the road forever and then we did something hella risky so we up there you know both tired like freaking pull over at a rest stop in the middle of i want to say it was like new mexico or something and we fell asleep in the car like first of all i used two girls like no protection no gun no nothing in the middle of nowhere like anything could have happened to us that's the only thing like that i feel like it was like hella risky is that we like fell asleep at like a rest stop in a car in the middle of literally nowhere in new mexico after that we reached to vegas safe and sound we get here we have a car now so that's half the battle at least we have a car car at this point we still don't have any furniture but we have a car um new year's eve roll around i had so many i had got so many clients um that was like my first little surge of money that i had um so that kind of helped me out or whatever um and i ended up having the money for my rent and that's I got that literally on New Year's Eve. And you know, the next day is New Year's Day, which is the first of January. And then I started working and freelancing at Mac. She was getting more hours at work. So it was getting a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? We was able to, you know, do a little bit more, pay our bills and stuff like that. We still didn't have any furniture though. We ended up getting a couch, but we got income taxes. So basically like um, January, we was still broke. February, we were still broke, but in March, Lord, I'm rich, bitch. In March, when them income taxes came back, we was able to get our nails done. We was able to buy a couch. We was able to do just little things that we normally was able to do. So once we got our couch, we start sleeping on that couch because like the air mattresses that we had, they were just uncomfortable. So we slept on the couch for a little minute. Um, I was getting clients. I was working at MAC. I had ended up joining like an agency, a makeup agency, which I had never heard of before until I moved here. And um, I started getting clients through them. But when May rolled around 2018, I was able to finally buy a bed. So it took me literally five months to get our apartment semi you know together that's when everything started to get a little bit better like it was just like easier i had to finish my eyebrows off camera because 
baby i cannot talk and get my eyebrows together but april actually was a good month for me because i ended up working with um royalty from cj so cool she's a youtuber her and her family make um vlogs and do pranks and stuff like that she was the first person that was able to like really really give me a little bit of push when it came to this makeup stuff out here because she was the one who like reposted me shouted me out let people know about me a little bit and she has like over a million followers on instagram so it really was a big help shout out to royalty she always always shows me mad love and like i am forever like grateful for her we go back to ohio in um july and i'm able to get my car and we drove again i literally despise that drive i will never first of all let me tell you how long the drive is if you do not stop the drive is 29 hours. Ain't nobody got time for that. 29 hours. My eyes were hurting so bad that time. The second time around, it was like, it was better. I feel like it was quicker. But the second time around, I was just like, yeah, remind me to never do this again. I actually don't know what look I'm going to create yet, but this is the palette I'm going to be using and I'm going to just start on my eye makeup. By 2019, like February, she had ended up getting a line with her job. So now we are both just experiencing success here in Vegas. Like 2019 was like our most successful year. I really started experiencing pool parties, going to Dre's, going to all the really nice clubs. And it was cool. Like I was able to see a different side of life instead of like always seeing a struggle 2019 was a good year that was i was able to work with different celebrities like alexis sky karen civil a couple people um, from the internet so it was just like really nice to be able to work with bigger celebrities since i had moved out here when i moved to um vegas i feel like that's when people really started seeing my work and wanting to work with me started being consistent on instagram got me a, a lot further I'm not going to lie. When you get attention on those sites and you are someone who um, provides services, it's a big deal because people are people only like to be associated with something that's, you know, popping. I feel like it really started boosting my clientele. So y'all had to go ahead and do my eyeliner off camera and I still messed it up, but it's cool because, you know what I'm saying, it's all right, like... We just doing a little, we just, we just doing, doing girl talk. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even that, it ain't even that serious. Like, you know, when we first moved here, we had to sacrifice a lot. It was not easy and it's not as glamorous as it may, you know, look or sound. Um, it very, it, it was hard for a whole year. Anytime you up and move and um, get your life um, uprooted within two months, you're definitely going to experience a lot of um, battles just because we did not prepare for what we embarked on, but it was okay because we ended up, it ended up still working it out in the end. The whole point of this story time to me is that I wanted to inspire someone who has been thinking about moving or scared to step out on faith. Um, let me tell y'all something. Like I said, I was broke. I had nothing. But God, like that's all I got to say. I had to literally make my decisions on my own and I had to step out on faith and I had to believe that God was with me. I feel like if you don't have nothing in your way and nothing stopping you, why not? If the path is clear, go ahead and take it. Like if the light is green, just go. I ran into a lot of different little obstacles that could have been prevented like even when we got our couch we did some of the dumbest stuff like we went and bought our couch off of somebody and um we went and rented one of those like u-haul pickup truck like, with a flatbed in the back did not have no real uh, ropes to tie down the couch we drive on the freeway one of our cushions fall off you are so dumb you are really dumb for real and had to we had to get it on the freeway we ran across the street on the freeway anyways y'all so this is the finished look if you have a dream and you want to chase after it, i definitely agree like that's what life is about if, if you think about it life is about achieving our dreams and going after what we really want so if this is what you want go after it um don't take no for an answer if you keep getting those just keep asking until you get a damn yes because that's what i did
and um yeah so if you guys want to see more videos like this comment down below and let me know make sure you click the notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a new video and make sure you subscribe and like this video as well and i will see y'all in my next one thank you so much for watching bye yeah. Turn it on, okay.